Colorado had that practice on yesterday. Kamani McClain locking down his side of the field. I will be reacting to the home field practice. Shout out to Well Off Media. What's good, YouTube? Mag Dog TV back with another video. If you're new here, stopping by for the first time, hit the like, subscribe button, comment. I really appreciate it. Also, hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys will be aware. Who does the rapping, you? Yeah. Somebody say work. Work. Somebody say work. Work. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. I ordered these overalls probably a couple weeks ago, and they were sitting up under my desk. And I said, you know, today is the perfect day to wear. Because when you see a man in overalls, the first thing yeah. you think is work. When you see a man with a pickup truck, the first thing you think is work. First thing I bought my kids, Shallow, Shador, their first car was a pickup truck, right? Because I wanted them to understand there's something about a pickup truck and something about work that just 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 makes you stand out. It makes you a little little different. You know, my stepfather never promised me to to do this, and never promised me he was going to do that. But one thing that he did was work. He was the foreman at this place called Wicks Lumber, and he took pride in that. So every time I got up in the morning, seeing him getting ready, he was putting on that daring uniform. In that uniform, I associated with work. So when he didn't put on that uniform, he wasn't going to work. But whenever he put on that uniform, it was time to work, and he took it serious. It even took me on some weekends, which I hated. Had me cleaning out these flower beds and these, these beds, and I didn't want to do that, DT. Couldn't stand it because I didn't understand work at that age and stage in my life. But, you know, he paid me $10, $15 for a weekend work, two, three hours of work, which was a lot of money back then so I could get my little shoes and whatever I need to get. But he taught me something that I will always treasure. That man never saw me play live, even though he was in the house since I was seven, eight years old. I was so endeared to him that I gave him my Super Bowl rings, my, uh, any ring that I earned from college football or baseball or whatever, gave him all that because he loved that stuff. And when he passed away, we put him under with all his rings and all his jewelry that, that he loved because he, he loved me. But he taught me work. And that's what I never forget. So my description and the depiction of work may be different from yours. Because I think some of y'all thinking you're working and you ain't working. What you think is work ain't work to us that's standing on this wall. Because we understand what work is. Um, you've seen a plethora of Hall of Fame guys come in here. And the commonality that we all share, Mr. Sapp, and that's what I'm going to let you take from here, is work. We wouldn't be in those gold jackets that we had that we didn't pay for if we didn't work. Prime is absolutely correct. It takes work, hard work, that work ethic. We talk about Floyd Mayweather. We talk about Tom Brady. We talk about Deion Sanders. All of these guys work to get to where they want to go or get to where they are in life. You guys know Coach Prime is a Hall of Famer, and it says a lot about him to give the Super Bowl rings to this man that means a lot to him. That tells us how much impact this man had on his life. Let's see what Warren Sapp has to say. He's also a Hall of Famer, and he had to work to get to where he is as well. So y'all know what the work is, right? When you work every day, you pouring concrete. Hmm. Pouring concrete, now you have a foundation in which you can build a career off. You can, you can do anything you want. But you got to have a foundation. And that foundation is in work. I can't believe that they don't make y'all do two a days no more like we used to. I can't believe it. I mean, people look at me all the time, OG, well, how did you do it? We didn't have to like it. We just had to do it. There was no other choice. That's what we came and signed up for, right? Colorado football? Well, let's put in the damn work. Because now it's upon us. The summer is over. All of that foo-foo is over. They shooting real bullets in Dallas. I guarantee you. And they're going to hurt. If you ain't putting no work, it's going to tear your ass up. So don't be that guy. Don't be that group. Don't let it infect this room. Let's put it together. Let's put the work. Let's lay the foundation. And let's build something beautiful. Because it's going to take every last one of us. You understand? 
Yes, my fingers like this, you can break them. But when I ball them up, and I ball them up, and it's me and my 10 friends, now I got a weapon to fight with. You understand? Yes, sir. And you do that every day. O-line, D-line, you ain't no friends. Not, not when we working. We not friends, we working to go to the game to whoop somebody's ass. And the only way you do that is you whoop each other in the week. And then we come together when we put the color on and we won. And we going to get them then. Because I know you done worked me and I done worked you, but they ain't got nothing for us. Because we put in the work. And when you put in the work, it comes out in the pudding. I guarantee you. Because you got confidence. We got a foundation. That's Bill of Mansion. Because I like nice shit. <laughs> Warren Sapp is absolutely correct. You have to outwork your opponent, and I'm talking about your teammates right now, your brothers. You're stretching and clawing with those guys every single day, so all of those things can translate to the actual game. I agree with him. I didn't know they didn't have two a days. I've been telling you guys all along they have practice in the morning, practice in the evening. So I'm just finding out right now there's no two a days. These guys have it made. For my viewers that's learning as we go, two a days is simply having two practices in one day. I used to have two a days as well. I used to kill me used to hurt me but after we finished two a days i used to feel good i used to feel more energetic i used to feel more confident i used to feel more excited because i felt like i went through two a days and every player or every former player that ever went through two a days can tell you that feeling two dollar tuesdays <laughs> <laughs> Square, see it. Don't rock that, I got it. Too much shoulder. Too much shoulder. Snap the lats. Good. Don't wind up, Rez. Come on. Head out, Rez. Head out. Nice, man. Good. Head good. Next guy's good, next guy. Everybody gone? Come on, Chris. Snap. Good. Save me on. Heavy Paul. Head out. Head out. Head out, Green. Right there. Keep working, Green. Head good. Better. Next guy, me. Ready? Come on, now. Don't ever in your fucking life smack your hand. Oh, <laughs> but then when we break, we do this. That ain't even natural. Where y'all get your mess from? Like, it's not natural to do that. If somebody say walk to me, you're gonna do like this. Go do like this. You're not gonna open up. You're not gonna do it. So let's try, let's try a bit. Try best. It's all about technique when we talk about being a football player, whether that's on the offense side of the ball, defense side of the ball. It's all about being a natural athlete, basically not overthinking, not trying to do something that you wouldn't do naturally. And Coach Prime is teaching these guys how to actually step properly. If they backpedal, you're giving your wide receiver more work. But if you open up, now you're giving that wide receiver to do what he want to do. I used to love when cornerbacks open up because that means that I can do what I want to do. I can fake him. I can just do simply what I want to do but when you give him more of a challenge by backpedaling and being that natural gifted corner now you're making me actually focus more as a wide receiver like that right. it's not natural to walk backwards and come forward and do like that that don't even make sense that's just stupid and it, 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 it's gonna cost you interception touchdown pass broken up and good job shallow you know these trainers man half of these trainers ain't never done that to be training half of them are good Really good. You just gotta know what you had to go into. Go! Come out. Go! Drop. Drop the sign and go. Right there. Good job. Ben, break just like you break it in the fraternity housing. Go! <laughs> hey, Brian, show me how you walk in the fraternity houses. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you ain't T-stepping in there, are you? Hell no. That's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Don't give us that. I want what you get him. <laughs> you ain't T-stepping in Brad Alzi if you're going to. <laughs> no matter all my players. Hey, dog, you almost clapped. You did that like you were going to church. That joke did like it. <laughs> Dito, you're thinking too much, man. Oh. <laughs> thank you too much, you know, you thank you too much. Quit thanking, baby, just play. Good job keeping the front shoulder down. Uh, oh. 
Yes, Cam. For oh, sure, Cam. Good job, Cam. Good job, Pete. Great defense right there by Cam. Cam been balling ever since the spring, the summer, and now the fall. I'm telling you guys right now, he's probably one of the most underrated football players in the secondary. He's just going to make plays, and you won't really know too much about him unless he starts talking. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, Cam is the real deal. He can play football. Good. Last step, here you come back. Good. As you guys see, every single video I react to, there's an NFL scout in the fall camp. This is the most busiest time right here for an NFL scout. They scout all the players, and you always see the NFL scouts talking to Coach Mo because usually the strength and conditioning coach are the ones that have the most time to answer questions when we talk about a football player for these NFL scouts. The coaches that's on staff are too busy coaching and trying to get their guys prepared for the upcoming season. So that's why you guys see Coach Mo always talking to the NFL scouts. Right there by Shador Sanders putting that ball where only the wide receiver can catch it. A lot of times you have quarterbacks that throw the ball to lead the receivers to the defender. I'm absolutely loving the fact that Shador Sanders was able to put that ball in a position where only the wide receiver can catch it or it was going to go out of bounds. What happened to the Great defense right there by Kamani McClain. You guys been wondering how can he beat a freshman All-American watch list is because he can make plays like that. I've been one of the ones that's been getting on to him in the previous time that he actually stepped foot into Colorado. But ever since then, he's been working very hard. He's been making plays. I'm loving the speed that he's actually progressing now. Now he's looking like the number one player in America. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The time is not yesterday. Yeah. The time is not two months ago. Yeah. The time is now. Yeah. We're gonna go out on Saturday. We're gonna dominate the few days. We're gonna work on three. One, two, three. Four. I thought this was a very good video. He's absolutely correct. The time is now. We only have one day in between today before the actual football game. Can you guys believe that? Feels like just yesterday I was just reacting to Coach Prime when he just first stepped foot in Colorado and now we're talking about a first football game, season open against TCU, his first career, Shadur Santa's first time playing in the Pac-12, all of these questions about can they actually play at this level. Now we have a chance to show them, not only by telling them, and I'm absolutely excited about that. Shout out to Well Off Media, we have a lot more in this video for you guys to check out. I will have a link to this video and his channel in the description drop a comment let me know what you guys think about the practice or anything i didn't go over and if you guys like the video definitely like subscribe to the channel